Welcome to this video. I'm going to walk you through this Argus portfolio model and show you how to underwrite a real estate portfolio within 10 minutes. If you are interested, please check out our website for more information. I have put a link of the website in the description below. The Argus portfolio model goes hand in hand with the Argus Excel model. If you don't know Argus Excel model, I will put a link in this video and the description below for it. You are welcome to check them out. As you can see here, five properties are already underwritten separately in the Argus Excel model. I will use the Argus portfolio model to aggregate these five models. When the Argus portfolio model is opened, the first things you are going to see are these simple instructions to inform you how to use the model. You may click the reset button to clear previous data in the model. Since I already click it, I will go straight to the input worksheet and start inputting assumptions to underwrite a hypothetical real estate investment portfolio. As a rule of thumb, all the empty blue cells are inputs. I'm going to type October 1st, 2021 as the closing date. ABC portfolio for the deal name. Then I click the update button. A window pops up to let me choose the individual Argus Excel models. I select the five models and click open. The system is opening these files for me, and it takes a couple of minutes. I will fast forward here. A second window pops up and shows me the name of the files I selected. It looks good. I will click Save. Now the system is importing cash flows from individual files for me. This will take another couple of minutes depending on the speed of your computer. It is done now. Under the property name, I can see that five properties have been imported. For the time being, I will copy and paste my sources and uses. As you can see, there is plenty of space for uses and sources section so you can add your own line items. I already have my line item names in place. This speeds up the process. Most of them are based on dollar amount and two are based on percentage. If you have more percentage line items, don't forget we are still in Excel. So you will be able to change formats and cells to meet your needs. Now I finish my uses and sources. Let's move over to the debt section. For senior debt, I'm going to input no interest only period. A 30 year amortization schedule, which is 360 months. A five year term and a two and a half interest rate. For mezzanine financing, I'm going to input no interest only period, a 30 year amortization schedule, which is 360 months, a five year term, and an 8% interest rate. For refinance, it is going to occur five years after closing, which is October 1st, 2026. The portfolio is refinanced at a 6% cap rate, 70% loan to value, no interest only period, a 25 year amortization schedule, and a 3% interest rate. The debt section is complete. Let's move to the property information section and other assumptions section. I type AAA capital for the GP name. 
BBT Capital for the LP name, XYZ Boulevard for the property address. ABC for the city, Texas for the state, 10 acres for the site size, which is about 435,600 square feet. Summing up the two reserves in the uses section for the total reserve of $2.5 million. Let's move to the disposition assumptions for the five properties. In this section, I can make different exit assumptions for each property to account for various disposition possibilities. 49 Road is relatively small among the five properties and I plan to sell it in 13 months with a 8% cap rate and a 1.5% disposition cost. This early disposition should increase the IR of the deal. 165 Road and the EFG are the main properties in this portfolio, so they will be sold at the end of the 10-year holding period. I will assume that 165 Road will be sold at a 7.5 cap rate and a 1% disposition cost. EFG will be sold at a five and a quarter cap rate and a one percent disposition cost. I assume that rule one oh four will be sold five years after closing with a six and a quarter cap rate and the one percent disposition cost to boost up the returns. At last, rule one two four is assumed to be sold in twenty five months with a six percent cap rate and the one and a half disposition cost. I'm done with the disposition assumptions. Let's move to waterfall assumptions. I will select monthly cash distribution. There are three tiers. The preferred return is 8% and, and compounding. The first tier's hurdle rate is 10% and the return is split 12% and 88% between the general partner and the limited partner. The second tier's hurdle rate is 15% and the return is split 15% and 85% between the GP and LP. After the second tier, the return is split 20% and 80%. I have finished all the inputs. Let's go on and click the Fix Everything button to see if the system catches errors in the model. It seems that I have negative cash flow in the pro forma. I will let the system fix this for me automatically. Everything looks good now. I will click OK to close the window. Let's go ahead and check out the executive summary. I see a summary of a sensitivity test of the purchase price. Uses and sources, debt assumptions, debt service summary, deal level returns, general partners returns, limited partners returns, carried interest analysis. This is all for the Argus portfolio model walkthrough. Thanks for watching. I will go into details on each section of the Argus portfolio model in future videos. See you in the next one.